All right, well, businesses hike or say take a hike. The president said to push a big increase in the minimum wage. Home Depot co-founder Bernie Marcus on that. Bernie, good to have you. Uh, easier said than done, although the president's opening salvo is federal contract workers now, everybody else later. What do you think? Well, look, look, Neil, you know, I think the president's going to speak tonight. And uh, I just heard the congressman. And I think Washington is a separate place in the world. I think that they're insulated from the real world. And um, they ought to be with the world that I've been in the last three weeks. I've been meeting with business people all over the United States. And I've been meeting with small business owners. Um, people that, for instance, run parking lots. Uh, people that run nursing care homes. People that clean up in office buildings. You know, and they hire people at the low end of the wage scale. And you ought to hear what they're talking about, Neil. What they're talking about is the fact that because of Obamacare, many of them are going to part-time workers. One uh, parking lot uh, entrepreneur told me that 50% uh, of his people are going to go on part-time. And he says, I feel so badly, he said, because these people really need the jobs, but I can't afford the medical care. I just can't do it. And I hope in fending to themselves that they're going to have as good a policy as the ones that are staying on my plan. So, you know, it's... It's another world in Washington. Um, the people in the business community, uh, the small businesses, especially around the country, uh, they are struggling. When you ask them what they're going to do, uh, many of them say, I don't have a clue. They all tell you the same thing. Their insurance rates have gone up dramatically. Uh, they're, they're, they're paying more for less. Uh, they're getting less. They're, they're being covered for things that they don't want to be covered for. So, Neil, it's a, it's a mixed bag here. Um, and, and wait, Neil, until the big big businesses wait till the, the largest companies the employer uh, start getting hit at the in. end. You're, you're right yeah, about that. I, but you know, uh, Bill Gates, the billionaire, had said while he would be open to an increase in the minimum wage, I think he, he, while he didn't put a number to it, he was against you know a dramatic hike and maybe something like this, a 40 percent hike, uh, wouldn't be his cup of tea, uh, and, and that it would it would obviously start pushing more corporations into automation and that sort of thing and defeat the whole purpose. What do you think of that? Well, it, it, no, it's going to happen. Let me give you the real case. Here's the real case. I had a uh, somebody who ran restaurants. He has three restaurants today, um, and he talked about minimum wage. The first thing he said was, you know, the people that they're going to kill <laughs> the most are, are entry-level people because young kids uh, don't have families. They're coming in. They're, they're coming into the workplace. We teach them discipline. We teach them how to dress properly. We teach them how to how to talk to people. And then it's at the upper scale. He says, so what happens here, if I raise my minimum wage, it doesn't affect just minimum wage. Now I have to affect every level of it. And said, and it's a, it's a cascade. And what it eventually will cause me to do is eventually not make any money or I'm going to have to raise my prices. But, you know, and, Democrats and say, Bernie, every time they hear that, we always hear that every time anyone wants to push raising the minimum wage. And none of these, the, what they call scare tactics, so no, I know that's not your intent, pan out. What do you say? Yeah, but, you, but no, it does pan out because you pay for it eventually. Listen, um, I don't know. Um, you eat a taco, a tacos, uh, Taco Bells. I don't eat there. But the people who can't afford to eat in other places eat a Taco Bell. And what's going to happen, and I'll tell you it's, it's actually going to happen, is that they're going to raise their prices. They're already talking about it. So it's a fact of life. Uh, they will raise their prices. So the people who eat there who can't afford it, uh, who are eating the lower uh, at this level of food, uh, they're going to pay more and therefore they're going to have less to spend on everything else. It's a cascade. So, oh. you know, I don't know who they solve the problem with. Look, entry level. I know this at Home Depot. We never had people at entry level. We never had people at minimum wage. Uh, but we look for skilled people. Now, how do you get become skilled? You start somewhere and then you become skilled. You start to learn how to sell. You, you learn how to use a register. And then you go on to a bigger job. Very well put. It, 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 all right, Bernie. So thank you. All right. Not thank bad you. for Good a guy who became a billionaire and he didn't have a handy bone in his body and created Home Depot. Amazing.